Hey everybody, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm outside because I'm at my sister's house and as I told y'all before, my niece was a Monster High uh, girl and so- Look what the dog did to me. She, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a giant scar. Scratch, not scar. It will be scarred. You can hang with me. You know how that goes. Anyways, um, I told you all before that she was a big Monster High um, person, more than Barbie. And this is the Monster High dolls that she saved are in here. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. I brought my Monster High dolls over because I wanted to see, I wanted to compare my dolls to hers. I'm going to open it up here. Compare my Monster High dolls to her dolls. And to see the difference. So, she was a big Laguna fan. Um, <clears throat> these are not the, like, the stand. I don't want to say stand. Never. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw my sister's dog. <laughs> um, it was not like the, um, like they were the special ones. Like, you know, from the movies or whatever. You know, special kind of dolls. So, she didn't have just like a, she doesn't have like all the, what are they called? Like the the first, ed not first editions, but like the, the standalone dolls, I guess, that wouldn't have been in the movie. So she has um this Laguna here. I don't know. She may be Gulf Shores. I'm not definite on that. So um I would put her up a little bit more, but I'm afraid that you guys won't see. So here's her shoes. Um, And it's funny how there's no heels on them. So I don't know how Laguna would have, how she would have stood at all. But um, there's no heels on the back. Which they're kind of like seaweed wrapped around there. It's got little um, little kind of jewels. And she's a, like a greenish blue. Now, of course, she um, is missing her fins. All Lagunas, a lot of Lagunas, when you buy them secondhand, are missing their fins because they came out so easy. She does have her fins on her arms. I'm not going to take the rubber band out because it is not my doll. It is my niece's doll. But I wanted to show you the face. So if you look at her face, um, she's got the, you know, the, kind of the mean mugging, the resting face, mean mugging, resting face, I want to say. So we've got this Laguna. And then she had this one, which I think is the drop dead, dead tired Laguna. Because um, what you guys are actually propped up on is the um, Laguna's bed, which was like a hyper... You put the water in it and it bubbled and all kinds of stuff. Maybe she'll let me show you guys on a short or something. But here's the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, I'm pretty sure she's a dead tire because these look like her pajamas. Let me just kind of get you guys a little closer. Hold on. Here we go. So you can get closer to their faces. Closer look of her face. There we are. And then you can see it's kind of got bubbles. Her pajamas have bubbles all over them. Kind of like a little thing here. Again, we're missing our fins. Here's her shoes. Now, these have heels. Again, though, she couldn't really stand much. But what woman can stand in heels, right? <laughs> the design wasn't as elaborate as some of the other ones. I think this was getting maybe near the end of Gen 1. So, we had that. Now, again, she's got that. You know, kind of, um, hold on a minute. Another thing I wanted you guys to pay attention to are her hands. She has webbed hands. Now, her toes are not webbed toes. They're just regular, like, dolly toes. But she has webbed hands because, again, she's the daughter of a sea monster. So, we show. So, I want you to pay attention to that. Like I said, her resting, her resting mean mug and face. So, this is Laguna. She's a Gen 1 Laguna. Now, we do not have a Gen 2 Laguna to compare to. Um, <clears throat> but again, we're going to show you she's got the webbed hands. I'm going to bring out my Gen 3 Laguna. And we can compare. Oh, she's got glitter. <laughs> she's got a uh, Cleo in here with glitter on her head. And so here we go. So here's my Gen 3 Laguna. As you can see, their faces are not that unsimilar. I think they look pretty close together. I think if you were to go compare their faces. <clears throat> I'm not going to compare clothing or anything like that because again, I was just kind of comparing their faces with each other. 
let's see, they don't look that much. I don't like, other than the fact that Gen 3 is pink, and she's a piranha, and she has baby hairs, and Gen 1, as we know, is more of a sea monster type doll. I'm going to put this one down, so we don't have to compare two. Okay, so if you do look at the face, though, and same with the, the, the other one, she has the purple eyelashes, and then her... her eyebrow and she has a blue eyebrow they both have they do have freckles on both of them so she hers are more of a, like a, a you can see them more her she's just got some like little brown freckles they both have little pink lips now you can see here she's got the pink and purples she's got purple lavender in her hair and she's got that blue and she's got the blonde now which i'm gonna show you so if we turn her i'm gonna have to take out her pony i'll put a pony back in i'm sure my niece doesn't my niece doesn't even know what's going on with her dolls <laughs> they sit in this box and it's so sad i just want to cry i'm trying to get her to let me take them but she not doing that so <clears throat> i was brushing their hair they definitely have glue seepage these dolls <laughs> so they need their hair washed but let me do this so <sighs> at least it doesn't have a rubber a plastic rubber band so let me kind of see is that glue seepage in the hair so if you get some older dolls that's what you're going to find is that glue seepage going on because uh, if they're from china so you want to if you can find a, a second hand doll try to find it from indonesia they're not going to have that that um glue seepage but what i wanted to show you was okay so here's our Gen 1 Laguna, and here's our Gen 2 Laguna. So they both do have that blonde and kind of that, um, the, the blue in the hair. It's supposed to look like, you know, you've been swimming for a long time and your hair's been bleached. You know how that goes when you get the chlorine in your hair. That's what it was supposed to look like. But of course, the new Laguna still has that, she's got that lavender and that pink in there too. So, uh, again, like I said, I'm not going to compare outfits because they're not the same Lagunas. But, let's compare their hands. So, like I said, she has webbed hands. <laughs> Sabrina! Ew! <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so she's got the webbed hands. New Laguna, no webbed hands. Um... New Laguna has the see-through legs. Old Laguna, no see-through legs. So that's the Gen 1, Gen 3 Lagunas. So I'm going to go on to the next girly girl. I'm going to have to put that ponytail back in. Next, I wanted to do my Dracularas. Now, I have a Gen 2 Draculara. At least I'm pretty sure she's a Gen 2 Draculara. She came in the out. I bought her in this outfit. You can see she's got black buttons. The outfit is, um, it is two pieces, but it's just on by a little string. As you can see, her boots here are all black. She has her fishnets, her hair, cute little face. So this is my Gen 2 Laguna. I mean, I'm sorry, Dracula. This is, I'm going to move her over. This is my niece's gen 1 dracula now she does not she's not in her original outfit my niece has no idea what happened to the original outfits that they were in but i'm going to show you some differences so hopefully the light will get there we go so you can see the face oh, come on there we go so there's their gen 1 come on sorry guys i'm outside i was hoping it would be a better better but it's going back i hope you can see the differences so that's gen 1 and we got Gen 2. So you can see the difference in their faces. I think when you're looking at the Gen 2, her eye, her face is more round. Where I think the Gen 1 is more elongated. Do you see that? At least that's how I feel it is. I feel that this, she's rounder in this area. And the Gen 1 is kind of more elongated in this area. Kind of her cheekbones kind of come in a little more to a, her chin comes more to a point. Oh my, look at you. I am Draculara. I am Draculara. 
No, you can't be Dracula. I'm Dracula. Anyways, her is hard to see, but she is a little more pink in her hands. Or her hands are a little more white. She's not as pinky. I don't know if you can tell that with their hands there. Now, here's the differences. So, in this Draculara, I don't know if these are the right leggings. I don't think they're the leggings that go to this Draculara, but I want to show you the boots. So, we're not even going to compare the leggings. Look at the boots. This is how you can tell a Gen 1 Draculara from a Gen 2 Draculara if they haven't changed out their clothes. <laughs> See the boots? Gen 2 is all black. Gen 1 has the silver hearts and the, she's got silver heels. Also, even though she's not wearing it, um, if you can see their necklaces here, Gen 1's necklace is almost um, translucent where Gen 2's necklace is solid. She's got on, and these may not be the earrings that came with her, they're Skullita earrings, and she's just got on little safety pin earrings. I think the original doll, Draculara doll, is safety pin earrings. I think my niece may have changed out these earrings. The other thing is, too, the original outfit on the Gen 1 has white buttons. That's another way you can tell. And it is two separate pieces where this is one piece. And it is a little shorter, too. So those are Gen 1 Draculara, Gen 2 Draculara, and I'm going to bring out the Gen 3 Draculara. And we'll compare them to each other. Here we go. So here's my new Dracula. And as we can see, first of all, <clears throat> we're gonna go faces. So <laughs> definitely I do feel they tried to stay true to the original Dracula. Now she is a little cuter, she's not as you know ghouly looking, but I do feel they stayed pretty close to the original face mold. What do you guys think? If comments are on, let me know what you think. Um, hair. So if we look at the hair, it is pink and and red. Same thing, but the new Draculara, we talked about a little bit. Her hair is longer, and it's all, you know, one side's pink, one side's red. Kind of a Corella DeVille looking thing going on, <laughs> I guess we could say. The new Draculara, so we'll put them up here. Um, oh, you guys can't tell. So the new Draculara, if I put their feet put them together she is a little shorter which is what we like she is a little curvier which is what she, we like look at the legs look at the difference in the legs <clears throat> let's see so you can look just by looking at the legs you can see the new draculara is a little curvier which we love she is more white than pink she's a that lighter pink i mean she is pink but she's not like i think the original was more pink i so said if you look at Look at this. She's a little more pink. A little more pinky. Sabrina, please get away from the pool. Because I don't want you falling in. Also, the shoes. The original Dracula came with boots. And our new Dracula is in heels. And for some reason, this one stocking will never stay up. So, I do have to say, I do approve of the Dracula. I think, again, I think they tried to stay as close to the mold as possible i love her longer hair for hair play i love the fact that it's got that fluorescent pink i adore i adore dracula old and new so we're gonna put them here this is gonna be a long one guys next we have claudine wolf now this is my niece's dress claudine her jacket is coming off i'm not in the mood to take her hand off and try to put it on but she is a Gen 1 Dracula. I mean, Claudine. And how you can tell, again, look at her face. She's got that I could care less face mold. Her eyes, got the, they're purple. She's got kind of a rouge, a rougey plum lipstick. Again, her face comes like to a point. The chin comes into a point. Um, she's got very, very curly, curly. You know, it's like a a wolf mane right but what you can tell the difference in her skirt is very very short and it's a two-piece you will always see her belly in the first generation um claudine also her boots they will have the gold buckles see how they have the gold buckles the gen 2 claudines only had um it was all black 
there was none of this gold here. And um, I've got little stockings on. Little like skin clothed fishnets. So this is your Gen 1 Claudine. Now, this is my Gen 2 Claudine. Oh, another thing too. Well, no. Hers was black. Her little um, uh, collar. It looks like it was black with yellow studs. And I think they're the same when you look at them. So this is my Gen 2 Claudine. Faces don't look too much different. Again, I think she's got more of a rounder face. And this is more of an oblong face than the Gen 1. But they both have that I could care less look in their eyes. Her skirt is a little longer. Still, you know, you can see the booty buns. And, but it is all one piece. So you're not going to get the belly here. Now mine I got second hand. So she has no stockings. But the reason I got her, she had the first Gen 1 boot so I thought she was a gen 1 until I started reading more into it she is definitely a gen 2 Claudine <clears throat> now my niece as I said my niece Claudine has been in the box so her hair is you know where my Claudine I, I took the time to brush her hair the other day so she's got the little red streaks if you guys can see that in there uh, they both still have the earring on two earrings in both ears and let me see when I'm looking. Okay, and two, I think the Claudine, Gen 1 Claudine, has more of a, like a, look at her eyes. She's got more of a, like, she's looking up, like, kind of off into the distance, like, um, she just, you know, she's in a dreamland kind of thing. For this one, I think she's looking straight on at you. Now, new Claudine. Claudine Wolf 3. Gen 3. Let me fix her feet here. <laughs> also, too, I need to look at their hands. Hold on one second. Let's look at, let's compare their hands a minute. See, now I'm told that at one point the Claudine's hands went more to a claw look. And I don't know when that happened. Anyways, here's Claudine G3. The eyes, again, those eyes, I think they tried to get as close as they could to the original. She's got a cuter face, of course. She's more of a dog look, which is okay. Um, sorry, guys. She's got more of that doggy look. But I think they did the best that they could try and still bring out that Gen... I think that's a dog. That Gen 1 look. Um, we won't compare outfits because outfits are completely different. Everything else is basically, except, you know, she's got her converse on. Her hair is a completely different look. She does have one earring on in her ear, so she does have her, her ears. I think the Claudine, um, there's not really much to compare because I think they went completely different on her. So here's your Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 Claudines. Uh -uh. She doesn't have a lot of the same. Um, like for example, her Cleo is, I think this is the, this is the Boo York Cleo, and my Cleo is the Gen 3 Cleo. So, if we were to compare the faces on them, I think we're just two totally different dolls. But I love my Gen 3. Look at that hair. I love the hair play that you get on the newer dolls. Uh, let's see. And then her, uh. Oh, here's just another Draculara. We're not going to worry about her. She has a Gulia. And I think this is the scariest Gulia. And then I'm going to take off Gulia's hat here. We can compare the two Gulias. So the scariest Gulia, Gen 1, to our Gen 3 Gulia. Um, I feel this is like her younger sister. Or this could be her. She could be mom. She could be daughter. If you look at them, they don't look very much alike. Let me just kind of fix her head a little bit. Their faces are not, I don't think they look anything alike. But um, you got the, the two-toned hair, the light blue and the dark blue. Here you got the same thing. She does have the light blues in streaks in her hair. But it's all basically this dark blue. Um, she's got the darker face, the darker lips. And so that's why I say we could be looking at mom and daughter. And she is green. 
where this Gulia is like a gray. So, yeah. I'm not going to go much more into that one. Let's see. Last one we have that we can compare is Frankie. Now, this is your Gen... Your Gen 1 Frankie. I don't know if this is, you know, Frankie Frankie. So I'm not going to do a lot of comparisons. But this is a Gen 1 Frankie. Um, I think this is Sweet 1600 um, Dracula's outfit, though. So I just want to look at the face. We do have the two different colored eyes. No fangs. Because like I said, this is not like the, the first one you got in the box. She does have her um, spikes. Got pretty hair for hair play. I mean, she's Frankie. There's not much else you can say. I'm, I'm just kind of like trying to compare faces. Now, the issue I have is with my Frankies. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure all my Frankies are all Gen 2s. So I really can't compare faces, but these are my Frankies. Now, this could be the also though when i'm looking at them this could be these could be gen 1 frankies because of the long hair i'm told that frankie for gen 1 had the longer hair and the shorter skirt so i don't know i may have gen 1 frankies i i just can't tell you for sure the earrings are telling me she's a gen 1 the outfit's telling me she's a gen 1 the skirt is shorter this is a shorter skirt but again, I could have bought my dolls naked. I don't remember. If you look, their hairlines are a little different. I really can't compare the Frankie that my niece were thinking is Gen 1 to mine. Because mine, I'm pretty sure are Gen 1s. But I just can't compare them yet. I'm, I'm trying to compare them to ones I've seen online. This is another Frankie that I bought. I thought she was the big 17-inch Frankie when I bought her. But if you look... They all have a little... Now, see how her hair has kind of like a heart-shaped kind of flip? And these guys don't. So, and their hair lines are right there at the front and not so far back. So, I'm just not sure about my Frankies. But, just to show you, so these are Frankies. And they're either Gen 1s or Gen 3s. I know my niece is a Gen 1. I, I'm not sure. But if we compare Frankie... To our last little lady, our Gen 3 Frankie. Let's see. I don't think they did much of anything to try to make her look the same. She's got the same black streaks in the hair. But she's blue. She doesn't have the light, the little um, poles in her neck. Which I never really noticed. Um... Of course, we know that the legs are different because of the body parts. She's just a completely different doll. I don't think she looks anything like the original Frankie. The original Frankie's green. She's blue. What are you going to do, right? Anyways, guys. Um, so that, you know, just to show you, that's my, my comparison to what my niece has of and what I can compare with mine. Now, she also has um, the ghost. A Spectra von, von der Geist. She's a poltergeist. She's like, you know, the... I love her. I want I want all the ones that they made of her. Because I just love the, the very pale white that she is. With the purple hair. Look at that. And then her legs are kind of see-through. And the chains on her legs. So she's one of my favorites. So yeah, that's my comparison, guys. To my nieces. Gen 1s to my Gen 2s and Gen 3 Monster High dolls. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to subscribe and see more, give it a subscribe. We have a giveaway going on for an American Girl doll book. Go to our community tab. It'll tell you all about it. And um, yeah, so we'll see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody.